Nah, what's that? Oh, it's this very, it's gotten popular. It's like a word game thing. I wanted to do a freaking flex. Uh, uh, I mean, you can flex, though. I, I'm just not going to know what you're talking about. Oh, I two-lined my Wordle this, today. Uh, sure. Words. <laughs> Actually, anyway. Um, yeah, so this matchup. Um, hmm. Yeah, oh, oh I, have, I have a thing to say, which is that these two characters kind of both have some of the best disadvantage state in the entire game. Uh, you know, Bayo has all sorts of specials that can get her out of things, as well as Ooh. Witch Time as a constant threat. The giant test. Oh, oh speaking of Witch Time, what, 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 what was that? Yeah, from, that? Okay. I mean, Ace had that. He had that right there, but I guess he was just misjudged where that was actually going to be. Uh, where it was going to be ending. Okay, but as things stand, 116% on VB3. It's quite a bit, but Bayo, you know, she struggles to kill. The up tilt back air, you know, that's that's a pretty reliable one. But beyond that, it just sometimes, you just, it, like in the neutral, especially. When you're in neutral and your opponent messes up, just, oh, but, but guns, all right. I mean, yeah, guns kill people. <laughs> Makes sense. I'm surprised that move doesn't do that more often, actually. I'm that was weird. I'm surprised why he didn't get stunned, I guess. Mechanic thing. Man, I gotta... Ah, this is why you need a Sinji on hand, to explain all of the really weird Pac-Man interactions. Because he knows all of them. All right, here comes possibly some big damage. But, 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 but. That forward smash lasts so long. And that should be... <gasps> Whoa, was that SDI? What was that? He went... That must have been, like... Because he was shifting around, because he got stunned, be he must have been like in the higher part of getting knocked around. Because he should, I he should have hit the stage right there. Anyway, a lucky break for Ace is gonna. He's at 150. He's at 150, and he's still comboing the heck out of EV3. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Pac-Man's uh, frame data is just like I don't care about your battle then. Yeah. Finally picking up that stock, but in the process, he's already he's taken 81. Now, once more, I, I feel like with Bayo, it's so much, so much is dictated by once you get them to kill percent. How is it gonna how is it gonna go down? You know? Is is he gonna find the up tilt back air? Is he going to get some, you know, really early kill, maybe a witch time to F smash? But then or just a hard read, but you know. Yeah, this is kind of where we're seeing. He got a little bit too greedy and as a result took a ton of damage. Yeah, stealing Pac-Man's fruit might be the most reliable way of killing, which is just silly and stupid. <laughs> well, I guess reliable in quotes right there. But... Oh, I don't think he wanted that. Oh, bell in hand, though. What a good parry! But, like, here's the thing. Yeah, you, you managed to actually get your opponent to hit on your shield. And the what, who's whose hydrant was that? That was VB3's hydrant. How did that, how was that VB3's hydrant? That was weird. All right, finally fighting the back air, Ace managing to do it. Uh, but yeah, like look at that. Look at the difference, the differential between Bayo having to kill and Pac-Man having to kill. If Pac-Man, you know, he does require a little bit of setup. Oh. Yeah. Uh, no, no. So like Pac-Man does require a little bit of setup. You know, he needs to have Bell in hand. He needs to have the right stage positioning or the correct placement of his hydrant or whatever. But like, once he does, he can kill early and he has options. Anyway, Ace still in the lead here, though. Consistently, he's been getting these early percent combos. Been managing to build up a little bit of a you know a gap in between them, and he tries to exploit that as much as possible but I think he might end up struggling with the same thing we've seen him struggle with the past two stocks which is what are you going to do once you get him to kill percent that was a real cute F tilt by the way great job punishing the uh, whip on that neutral air. yeah look at this Ace just so hungry for that back air which I mean I'm going to be honest I don't know why you're trying to st stale your back air right now dude that's like your that's your lifeline. Oh, but just a little bit too high. At the same time though, oh man, we're seeing some kooky interactions here. 
Bell not really working the way that uh, VB3, I think, is hoping it would. As a result, Ace is staying alive here. 114 versus 119, but once more, who has the advantage here? I think it's VB3. He has Bell in hand as well. Look at that back air finally connecting, but it's still not enough to actually do it. He's going to need to find... Whoa! Oh, my God. That would have been the game. I think that back air right there probably would have done it. Oh! I mean, that'll do it too, I guess. That's what's, I mean, it's funny, like, Bayo had to kill using Pac-Man's own tools. Get a attack into the uh, the Hydrant true combo. I mean, when it works, it works. All right, Arrow taking game one is pretty good for him, but... That was close. That was real close. Neck and neck. So, as we move into the game two here... Um, I wonder what adjustments VB3 needs to make. I mean, I feel like just avoiding. I mean, it's hard to say, oh, just, you know, oh, 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 this is one thing you can do. Yeah, you can do that. You can get a 60% combo right off of the bat. Yeah, honestly, that I feel like that was the difference. His punish game just wasn't there last time. Like, Ace's was, and his wasn't. So that's, that's pretty much what let Ace all the way to victory. And this time around... Feels like the shoe is... I mean, it's not quite on the other foot because, you know, Arrow still is getting solid damage and combos in, but look at this. VB3, he's baiting properly now. He's converting properly now. This is the sort of... This is the sort of situation that if you're Bayo, like, I'm starting to wonder what your options truly can be. I mean, he was struggling to find a way to kill when he was up by about 70%. Oh my, okay. I saw the magnifying glass disappear and I thought he was just dead. And, oh my god. That's the sort of thing where, so, good back air, but right before that where you saw the grab come out. Immediately, I'm just, er, cool, also taunts. But I just want to deconstruct this. So you saw the grab come out and Ace did not punish it. That's because in the first game, the kind of similar thing happened with the grab there. And he tried to back air and he got grabbed as a result. And it's the sort of thing where I feel like he only didn't try to punish it because of what happened in game one. And that's a little bit of fear. And, you know, when, honestly, when VB3 is playing this well in this game, you can't let fear dictate your punish game. Because that probably would have been uh, the stock, possibly the lead. Whereas right now, Ace is playing from behind here. Ah, look at all of this stage control that VB3 has. Stage controlling all the time in the world to get his setup started. <laughs> okay. I mean, sure. Yeah, going off stage like that, he that was because of the hydrant. He got pushed off stage, was forced to burn a bunch of his options in order to uh, get back to the ledge and left him in prime. Just sitting there waiting for that back there. So far, Ace, oh, I was about to say, he hasn't really gotten hit, so he's doing that patient play well, but eventually he needs to be making big plays of his own. Yeah, that's a committal way to try and get rid of Hydrant, and look at that, a singular mistake leads to all of this damage. Arrow had been playing so, so careful, so, so well, and then he throws out that one forward smash and takes 70. It's the position where even if he does take the stock, which is feasible, it's definitely feasible, uh, if he manages to do that, then, you know, he's still, it's still going to be an uphill battle. A lot of extra credit right now for VB3. I'm liking the movement right now between these guys. Just dashing out into each other's face. Jumping a little bit too much, though. Pac-Man has a very good anti-air option if he thinks you're going to be empty hopping. That's got to be it. Yeah. <gasps> what? Oh, perfect DI. And I think because of the knockback reduction from being in witch time is what saved him there. Oh, Bell in hand for Arrow now, though. Oh, we wanted to re-grab it. The, there are two advantages to having Bell in hand. One, I mean, oh god, like he almost killed. One is that, uh, you know, you have Bell in hand and you, you just kill. Uh, and the other one is that I think you prefer Pac Man from getting through with his own. Yeah. 
Yeah, that was all. He was. He took a little bit too much time on the ledge there. That's the sort of thing where he probably should have gone for the neutral getup immediately after seeing the uh, the apple connect on the hydrant, because it, you saw the angle of that. It's a very interesting angle that the hydrant goes up high and then it kind of rolls and lingers right at the ledge, which is. I mean, at that point, I don't even know what options he had. I don't think he had any options because he took the one. Icon. Now it is. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, we got. Uh, what game is this? Game three. Game three. Got it. Got it. Oh, that was an oh, interesting. Wow. BB three is re it really went in there. Yeah, and I mean, you saw that down smash, and he managed to get right past it and still get the Galaxian combo. Yeah, yeah, like... Oh, no, but oh, Arrow has something to say about it, though. Mm, yeah, that air dodge was really important, because I think he actually just snagged his jump. Yeah, yeah, like... Oh, and the hide right too. Uh. Hmm... It's not enough to kill, but... That's quite... Oh, I like uh, that. That's similar uh, to what smart. happened in the last game, how he lost it and he learned his lesson. He's realized, oh no, what I should have done is I'm Bayo. I have so many, you know, special movement options that I can just get around all of it. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, like, you gotta use this full cat. Like, oh, here comes the giant fist! Pat, no! Yeah, he just goes for it, connects, and does its job. Yep, and uh, he ain't dead. Because he killed him, he doesn't have any rage anymore. That's why that backer couldn't actually seal oh, the yeah. deal. But can't, will Arrow, okay, Arrow's got a little bit extra credit. Can he get, like, can he get nice now? Oh, what a snipe with that apple. Oh. The angle of it is this really awkward, like, 45 degrees. What is that, negative 275 yeah. degrees? Yeah, it's a really. 275, I don't care. Um... <laughs> Xbox 360. Yeah, it's a weird yeah. angle, though. Yeah, but, like, but it's but against Pac-Man, you have to know that's an option for him because especially at those higher percents, it's a, a, he loves having it available. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they do say an apple day keeps the bayonetta away. Ooh, Ooh, that roll was real good. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, he's still going. Oh, oh, still going. And I think he snagged his jump. I could be wrong here. Oh yeah, no, he did, but he didn't need it. It's still Pac-Man. Yeah. I like that DI mix-up. He went for down throw because Pac-Man would have been holding in there. He didn't actually get a punish off of it, but it's kind of cute to see. Yeah, yeah. Like... Boy. Yeah, like, well, I, this is anyone's game right now. But, like, Arrow is really... Like, if he, as soon as he catches Pac-Man, Pac-Man's eating a lot percent. Like, a whole cavalcade. Yeah, but at the same time, we're reaching the, the sort of part of the game where... It, like the onus is on Bayonetta. She needs to get the kill. And <laughs> that's real hard to do, especially against Pac-Man, who's so evasive, has so many options to wall you out. Like, he, he he has not gotten, like, a single up tilt back air or anything like that. He's gotten back airs here and there, but... Is Witch Time an option? Uh, we have seen, I think, one Witch Time kill, but it's very risky, especially if those higher percents. Got it, got it. He's, he's stopping the fire hydrants. I mean, I think that it sends at this convenient angle, and it has less end lag than, I believe it has less end lag than, say, forward smash. Got it, got it. All right, Bell online right there. The late back is not going to actually kill, but we have Arrow there. Yeah, there it is. That's, there's, that, that's why it's risky. He thought yeah. that he was going to go for uh, one of the like projectiles that goes further, but he actually stopped on the apple, and the apple just hit the uh, hydrant and send it to that perfect angle. Yeah, perfect angle. And, like, is it, and like the app on the surprising out of force to it. Oh, we gotta oh that's got to be it. Oh! oh, man. And, yeah, this is the sort of thing where because Bayonetta loves trying to go for back air, that can make it kind of easy to parry. Oh, okay. Okay, like, back set 151. Like, need to get just like, one good, a good love tap like that. Um... Oh, 
I mean, I, I, I appreciate the aggressive off-stage play there. At the same time, he lost stage positioning, and and that's that's it. Yeah, unfortunate four arrow, but good stuff to VB3. Gonna be moving on in the losers bracket. Where next he has to face.